This lesson will introduce our new approach for good manufacturing practice, GMP, and good gene, cellular, and tissue-based products manufacturing practice, GCTP, compliance inspection system, namely product category-based inspection. In the conventional system, GMP and GCTP inspections are to be conducted for the manufacturing sites based on applications from marketing authorization holders, MAHs, at the time of new approval of products, at the time of partial changes, and every five years after approval of the products. Many manufacturing sites have manufactured products of multiple marketing authorization holders, and the date of approval differs for each product. Thus, frequent inspections are required for one manufacturing site. Accordingly, while maintaining the conventional system, a system has been introduced as an option from the viewpoint of international consistency, which enables selection of GMP and GCTP inspections for each manufacturing site based on applications from manufacturers instead of the periodic inspections every five years after approval of products by MAHs. This is a product category-based inspection. The major difference is that the inspection applicant is a manufacturer instead of an MAH, and inspections are conducted for each manufacturing site instead of each product. This new approach enables the manufacturing sites to select the timing of their inspections. And accordingly, for a manufacturing site like those to which manufacturing is entrusted from multiple MAHs, it has the advantage of reducing the number of inspections. Specifically, GMP and GCTP inspections are conducted for each category of manufacturing process, classified with consideration for factors such as the technical characteristics of the process, and a GMP certificate for product category-based inspection, here and after the certificate, is issued to the manufacturer for each category of manufacturing process, effective for three years. During the effective period of the certificate, the periodic inspection for each product based on the application from the MAHs may be omitted for the products belonging to the applicable category. This slide explains the difference in the application flow between the periodic compliance inspections and the product category-based inspections. As an example, it shows an on-site inspection of an overseas manufacturing site. For periodic compliance inspections, an MAH selects representative products as an inspection applicant, then submits an inspection application to PMDA, and receives the result notification and the inspection report after the completion of the inspection. On the other hand, for product category-based inspections, a foreign manufacturer, that is, a domestic representative selected by the overseas manufacturer, takes the initiative in applying for the inspection. After the representative products are selected by PMDA, the representative proceeds with communication with PMDA, and after the inspection is completed, the representative receives the certificate and the inspection report and sends them to the foreign manufacturer. The foreign manufacturer that has received the certificate is required to provide a copy upon request of the MAH. For manufacturers with a valid certificate, the MAH may omit the application for periodic inspection. This slide introduces an example of certificate omission of periodic inspection. First, the concept of the deadline by which the periodic inspection is to be conducted for each product. The Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Act describes that those who have obtained approval for each product must undergo a document-based or on-site inspection in every period of not less than three years specified by the Cabinet order after obtaining the approval. In other words, Periodic inspections must be conducted every five years from the approval date. This date of approval is the date of approval of the product, and thus, even if a manufacturing site is added after the approval or the periodic inspection is conducted in a span shorter than five years, the cycle of five years from the date of approval of the product is not affected. As an example, this is a manufacturing site to which manufacturing of tablets X, granules Y, and granules Z is entrusted from the MAHs A, B, and C, respectively. In the past, the initial periodic inspection was to be conducted no later than five years after the date of product approval. The second and subsequent periodic inspections were also to be conducted for each product, based on the inspection applications from each MAH. On the other hand, by utilizing a product category-based inspection, if the product category-based inspection is conducted under the category of solid preparations, for example, a category to which both tablets and granules belong, and matched with tablets X, 
for which the second periodic inspection is to be conducted earliest, and a certificate is issued, the periodic inspections for each MAH and each product may be omitted based on this result. Accordingly, the number of times of inspections can be reduced. The initial periodic inspection for new drugs may not be omitted. The categories of manufacturing processes are classified as shown on this slide. The segments indicated by red frames correspond to the categories of manufacturing processes. The categories of manufacturing processes in the product category-based inspection are defined by classification of manufacturing processes as determined by the manufacturing license and accreditation category. For example, as green categories belonging to the sterile category of license and accreditation, three categories have been established, aseptic processing, terminal sterilization, and sterile drug substances. As blue categories belonging to the non-sterile category, six categories have been established, solid preparations, semi-solid preparations, liquids, drug substances, preparations related to crude drugs, and crude drugs as drug substances. Under these categories, dosage forms are shown as examples in the notification issued by the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare, enabling applicants to easily select the category of manufacturing process. The inspection authorities for the product category-based inspection shown in this slide are all prefectures if the applicable inspection target is domestic. For the inspection of overseas manufacturing sites, PMDA is the inspection authority. These are the categories of product category-based inspection for which PMDA is the inspection authority regardless of whether the site is domestic or overseas, and they are categories belonging to the minister-licensed category. Four manufacturing process categories classified as biological product categories, two classified as radiopharmaceutical categories, and two classified as cellular and tissue-based products categories have been established. In the product category-based inspection, the standard paperwork period required for PMDA's inspections is one year. Thus, the application for the product category-based inspection needs to be made at least one year before the desired date for issuing the certificate. Since the application for periodic inspection may be omitted only if the issued certificate is effective at the renewal deadline for each product, if it is not issued by the renewal deadline for the applicable product, the periodic inspection may not be omitted and the applicable inspection must be carried out.